hello students welcome to our class yesterday we have started a new chapter electrostatics and we have seen laws of electrostatics coulomb's first law and coulomb's second law and uh, according to our previous class coulomb's first law statement is given that if a two charged bodies are there in the two charged bodies if the two charged bodies are equally uh, same the charge in the two charged bodies are same then they at, uh, repel each other if charge in the two bodies are different then they will attract each other so that we have seen in the first law and according to the second law whatever the magnitude of force which is developed between the two charged bodies that is directly proportional to product of uh, charges and inversely proportional to square of the distance between the two charged bodies and it depends upon the nature of the medium between the two charged bodies so according to that we have given the for formula for force f is equal to <coughs> 9 into 10 to the power of 9 q1 q2 divided by epsilon or d square newtons so this is our formula which we have uh, calculated some problems also so i think we have done two or three problems yesterday and we will continue that problematic session now so let us start with the first problem today problem 1 two equal and similar charged bodies two equal and similar charged bodies are placed 20 cm apart are placed 20 cm apart in a medium of in a medium of relative permittivity 5 relative permittivity is equal to if the charges experience if the charges experience a force of 90 newton determine the charge on each body in coulombs in coulombs so there are two equal and similar charged bodies are placed 20 cm apart in a medium which is having an relative permittivity of 5 if the charges experience a force of 90 newtons determine the charge on each body in coulombs so if you see the given data so it has given distance between charges distance between charges is equal to 20 cm that is equal to 0.2 meters now converted into meter and next he has given relative permittivity he has given relative permittivity epsilon r is equal to phi and he has given force between 
charges or charged body F is equal to 90 Newton and is asking to find Q values that means here he has given two equal and similar charges that means Q1 is equal to Q2 is equal to Q. So we have to calculate the Q value. So according to the problem, according to the problem given two charged bodies are equal and similar. Two charged bodies are Q1 and Q2 which are same which are equal. Therefore, Q1 is equal to Q2 is equal to Q. So, he has not mentioned whether it is positive charge or negative charge. Let us see. And these two charges are placed in a relative permittivity which is having epsilon r is equal to phi. Now, according to our force formula, force is equal to 9 into 10 to the power of 9 Q1 Q2 divided by epsilon or d square newtons. So, this is our formula. So, we are having the force value that is given as 90 Newtons and we are having Q1 is equal to Q2 is equal to Q. So, therefore, we will directly substitute Q into Q divided by epsilon r is given as phi into d square is given as 0.24 square. So, if you calculate you will get a 90 is equal to 45 into 10 to the power of 9 Q square. 45 into 10 to the power of 9 Q square. So, from this we can write therefore Q square is equal to 90 divided by 45 into 10 to the power of 9. So, this is very clear that is this will become 2 into 10 to the power of minus 9 because 45 into 2. So, this 10 to the power of 9 will become if it get upside 10 to the power of minus 9. So, therefore, Q is equal to under root of 2 into 10 to the power of minus 9 that is equal to 0 0.4 0 0.04472 into 10 to the power of minus 3. That means the two charged bodies are having a charge of Q is equal to 44.72 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulombs or 44.72 micro coulombs. So, this is the answer. So, this is the answer. So, charge on each body is 44.72 micro coulombs. So, 44.72 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulombs is the answer. So, let us see another problem. Problem number 2.
for two charges feel a repulsive force two charges feel a repulsive force of 96 newtons what is the force what is the force if separation is quadrupled if separation is quadrupled so two charged bodies are there so they are having repulsive force and the force is given as 96 newtons so if the separation is quadrupled then what is the force is asked that means <coughs> if the distance between the two charged bodies is increased by four times then what is the uh, force is asking so generally as given force 1 Has given force one is equal to 96 newton, so he has not given any other uh, data. So just he has given repulsive force. So let us see what will be the F2 force. F2 so according to our uh, coulomb's second law according to our coulomb's second law force is inversely proportional to d square force is inversely proportional to d square so this is the condition so f1 is proportional to d1 square now so f1 is the force at d1 distance now i have to calculate f2 force at d2 distance that means f2 is proportional to 1 by d2 square where according to the given data he has given where d value that means separation separation increased by four times quadrupled means four times that means if d value is increased by four times then f2 is proportional to 1 by d2 square that is equal to where d is is increased by 4 times then f2 is directly inversely proportional to 1 by d2 square so let us see what is uh, the value so take it as uh, uh, first substitute the values here f1 that means 96 is proportional to uh, let us take uh, d as 1 One square, and uh, next in the second case, F two is proportional to one by four square. That means it is increased by four times, right? So therefore, here we can write 
96 is proportional to 1 by 1 and here we can write F2 is proportional to 1 by 16. Okay, so now let us do F2 by F1 that is equal to 1 by 16 divided by 1 by 1. So therefore we are getting F2 by F1 is equal to 1 by 16. So from this we can write therefore F2 is equal to F1 into 16. That means whenever the distance between the charged bodies are increased by 4 times then change in the force is F2 increased by 16 times of F1. Just a small mistake here. F2 is equal to 1 by 16 into F1. So I am taking uh, just a small misunderstanding here. So from this F2 F2 is equal to 1 by 16 into F1. So let us substitute we are having F1 value so therefore F2 is equal to F1 value is 96 divided by 16 which is equal to 6 newtons. So after substituting the F1 value Finally, we have calculated F2 is equal to 6 newtons. So, whenever the distance between the two charged bodies increases by 4 times, the force F2 is now 6 newtons. That means the force is totally reduced. Why? Because we can see here, I can explain you. F is inversely proportional to D square. If D value increases, then F value, sorry, if D value increases, then F value decreases. So, in, a, in this case, what happened? D value has increased by 16 times. D value has increased by 16 times. So, therefore, F value has decreased by 16 times. Right? So, why? Because 96 divided by 16, that is equal to 6. Right? So, F value decreased by 16 times. So, finally, we have got a formula. We have got a value F2 is equal to 6 newtons. So that is our second problem. So let us do one more problem. It's a little bit uh, different. So problem number three. Three identical 
point charges. Three identical point charges. Each of plus five into ten to the power of minus six coulombs are placed at the vertices of an equilateral triangle. Ten centimeter apart. Calculate the force on each charge. Assume the medium is A. So let us assume the medium is. The medium as A. That means epsilon R is equal to one. So three identical point charges, each of plus five into ten to the power of minus six coulombs, are placed at a vertices of equilateral triangle. So let us take <coughs> so equilateral triangle. A point, B point, and C point. Sixty degrees equilateral triangle means all the angles are having sixty degrees, and the charge is plus five micro coulombs, plus five. Micro coulombs, and here also plus five micro coulombs, and the distance d is equal to ten centimeter. That means zero point one meter. So here also zero point one meter, and here also zero point one meter. So this is the problem given. So from this. We can say that Q1 is equal to Q2 is equal to Q3 is equal to plus 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulombs, and D is equal to 0.1 meter. Epsilon R is equal to 1, and calculate F value. So let us see. So here the three points are placed at the vertices A, B, and C of the equilateral triangle ABC. So that is shown in the figure. Now considering at point C, which is being repelled by the charges placed at vertices A and B. <coughs> that means here at A and at C, both the charges are positively charged, and B and C here also both the charges are positively charged. Now, this point C is experiencing a repelling force by two charges, A and B. This A charge and B charge are uh, forcing a, forcing on the C, so that force is repelling force, right? So, why? Because they are uh, same charge. So, according to Coulomb's law: the force of attraction or repulsion between two charges is given as. So we are having a formula for that. So F is equal to 9 into 10 to the power of 9 Q1 Q2 divided by epsilon or t square newtons.
so now we have to calculate the force at charge c so this is the we have to calculate force at charge c with, with where the force is repulsive force so now i am so i am calculating the force at point c in the same manner a repulsive force will act on a due to c and b and a repulsive force will act on b due to c and a so that means if you take any uh, charge there will be a repulsive force due to other charges so if you calculate that one so let us consider it as uh, the force experienced by the charge at point c due to point a acts along a c just a minute i will take another color so the force acting on c due to a is in this direction and the force acting on c by b is in this direction so let us take this as b and this as e so if you take a resultant between these two vectors you will get a resultant vector like this let us take this as f right why because two forces are acting on point so therefore you have to consider the resultant force so i am taking this resultant force as f1 so therefore f1 is equal to 9 into 10 to the power of 9 q1 q2 the values are same 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 divided by 1 into 0.1 whole square so therefore we are getting a value f1 as <clears throat> 22.5 newtons so this is the force acting on c by a and b charges in the same manner we are having the distances and the forces are same so therefore force on a and b will be also same as q and d values are same therefore f2 is also equal to F2 is also equal to 22.5 newtons So now as it is a equilateral triangle all the angles are same there are 90 degrees so therefore the resultant of two forces F1 and F2 is F Now we are having two forces f1 and f2 so therefore the resultant force as given a b c is equilateral triangle therefore angle a is equal to angle b is equal to angle c theta is equal to 60 degrees so resultant force resultant force f is equal to under root of f1 square plus f2 square plus 2 f1 f2 cos theta so this is our 
vectors according to our uh, parallelogram vector formulas. So if you substitute the f1 value and f2 value, all the values are same. 22.5 whole square plus 22.5 whole square plus 2 into 22.5 into 22.5 into cos 60 degrees. So therefore f is equal to 38.97 newtons. Okay, so this is the force. So same force of 38.97 newtons will be experienced at points A, B and C. Right? So, this is the problem. So, I am giving some clarity here. So, let us take this one as any one as this one as F1, this one as F2 and this as F. This as F. Right? So finally, if it is an equilateral triangle, the forces at A, B, C are same. So just we have calculated the force at C. So here I am explaining the force at C. So the C point is experiencing two forces, two repulsive forces. One force is by A, another force is by B. So, one force is by A and another force is by B. So, therefore, we are getting two forces. We are uh, two forces are acting at point C. So, we have taken a resultant vector F and we have calculated that F value according to the formula and we finally concluded. So, finally, we concluded F is equal to 38.97. Newtons. So another problem, problem number four today. So problem number four. Three equal charges again. Of magnitude. Three into ten to the power of minus six coulombs. Are placed. at three corners of a right angled triangle. Now it is right angled triangle. In previous case it is equilateral triangle but now in this problem it is right angled triangle as shown in figure. find the force 
on the charge find the force on the charge at point A at point A assume epsilon r is equal to 1 that means a medium is a so this is the given data and the figure so he has mentioned it is an e uh, right angled triangle So A point and B point as mentioned, let us take this as C point and the distance is from D to C is 4 cm and A to C is 5 cm. So here distances are different and the, in the given data Q is equal to 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulombs given. And epsilon r is equal to 1 and is asking us to calculate f at point A. So equal charges means bracket q1 is equal to q2 that is equal to q3. So three charges are there magnitude is same. So now let us do the solution for this problem. First, let us see what he has given. He has given three charges, each of 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulombs, which are placed at three corners, A, B and C. And this is a right angle to triangle. So the charge at point A, which is, that means here, we have to find the force at point A. So let us draw a uh, figure here. So this is our right angle point A so point A point B and point C so this is 3 centimeters that means 0 0.3 meters so this is 0 0.4 meter So the charge at point A which is rippled here, the point which is A is there here, where A, B, C charges are same, the point A, at the point A, it experiencing a force which is repulsive force due to B and C. So at same in the previous problem. A point is experiencing two forces, one force is due to B and another force is due to C, that means repelling force, so therefore like this. Now the equivalent force will be, the equivalent force will be F, so this is F1 this as F2 or let us take this as F1 and this as F2 so here at point A the charge is experiencing two forces force repelling force due to B and repelling force due to C so therefore distance between charges A and C is given 0. Uh, 
so 3 centimeters is given so therefore 0 0.03 meters and this is 0 0.04 meters So he has not given the distance between A and B. So therefore we have to calculate what is the distance between A and B. So distance between A and C is 0 0.03 meter and distance between A and B sorry B and C is 0 0.04 meters therefore distance between A and B is under root of 0 0.03 square plus 0 0.04 square so therefore we are getting the distance between A and B as 0 0.05 meters. Now we are having all the distances. Now this is 0 0.05 meters. So next we will calculate the force values. Right. So according to our Coulomb's law, same formula, F is equal to 9 into 10 to the power of 9 q1 q2 divided by epsilon or d square newtons now let us calculate first force experienced by charge c at point A. <clears throat> so that means force due to point C is equal to 9 into 10 to the power of 9 where Q and Q2 are same uh, the value is 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 divided by 1 into D value is from C to A that means 0 0.03 0.03 so we will get 90 newtons if you calculate force due to C at point A is 90 newtons that means we can treat it as F2 and next F1 force by charge B at point A that means F1 that means force due to B that is equal to 9 into 10 to the power of 9 value is same 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 divided by 1 into distance between B and A is 0 0.05 So therefore we are going to get if you calculate in the calculator 32.4 newtons. So that means the two forces acting at A one is 32.4 newton and another one is 90 newtons. So therefore F is equal to 
we have to calculate the resultant force already we are having the formula so resultant force at point a due to b and c so f is equal to under root of f1 square plus f2 square plus 2 f1 f2 cos theta so if you directly substitute we have calculated f1 that is equal to 32.4 whole square f2 is 90 square plus 2 into f1 32.4 into 90 and what is cos theta So here we have to do one thing. We have to calculate at cos theta. So according to the figure which we are having, it is like this. One is three, uh, another one is four, and another one is five. So according to our trigonometry, cos theta is equal to three divided by five from this figure. That means Three divided by five means zero point six. So zero point six is our cos theta value. So therefore, we are going to substitute directly zero point six. Why? Because according to our trigonometry, cos theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse. So adjacent hypotenuse. So zero point six. So finally, f is equal to 112.46 newtons. So this is the force acting on point A charge due to B and C, and it is a repelling repulsion force. Right? So students, so this is our today's class. So we have calculated uh, four problems, and the uh, problems are very simple as we are using only one formula. And uh, you go through the remaining example problems, and if you are having any doubt, so let us see. Okay, so let us stop here. So uh, this is our today's class. Thank you. We'll meet in the next class.